All right, I got to add a little bit of uh, information on this payload. Uh, uh, having the uh, the JZ light system, uh, I just noticed this that there is a payload icon on the screen um, on the right side of the screen. You see, you have your zoom button here. To the right of it, right there, I'll click on it. This is the payload for the T30 light. So if I want to turn the light on, if I say I want to turn it on for flash, there, I'm flashing. If I want to change my intensity, I click on the little intensity button, or solid light, I'm sorry, there's flash. Go to the intensity, it's down here, and I can slide up and down, or I hit the plus. But again, it's only each time you hit the plus. I'll go back to steady light. There it is. Back to intensity. Brighten it. Dim it. Uh, and then here's the information. Uh, I can click information on the on the uh, camera. I can go to gimbal mode. Move the light separately from the gimbal from the camera, or I go back to camera mode, and now if I turn the camera, it tracks with the camera. So I thought that's kind of interesting that, that that's there. I'll shut off that information screen. So that's just a little uh, set of icons there that while you're in flight, uh, you can utilize. To get out of it, you just click that payload button again. Otherwise, it's on, on a, at all times. So anyway, just wanted to share that little well, bit of video. I'm going to this time that the image is not adjustable left to right. These screws are, they must have been loctited in. They are extremely tight. I'm not even going to try to tear into it to loosen it. The uh, vendor told me to loosen the screws and adjust them, but they must be loctited in, and I'm not going to take a chance. And I don't want to individually adjust the uh, lenses because of the I don't want to lose my nice spot, which it does have a very good spot from a distance. So it's, I did, uh, I was able to adjust the, uh, the up and down, uh, the fine tune within the menu here. You'll see there is a fine tune upwards and fine tune down. So that worked good. Um, everything looks good, uh, other than that. And the, I'm at 43% brightness right now. If I crank this baby up to 100%, you kind of get a good good feeling for how it is. But I'm going to run it back down here. Just, the battery life is impacted. And I was looking at the temperatures. These the lights do get pretty warm. They are warm. But I expect them to be. So click off, and they're, they're off now. So. And I see the temperature looks like it is dropping just by shutting the lights off. Looking here at 65C on the left and 62 degrees C on the right. And they are dropping with the light being off. So I can't complain about, <clears throat> about the unit itself. So I guess this is the way it's going to be. It will work for my, for my needs. So have a good day.